Dan, I'm trying to take a shower and there's no hot water. This week's issue, the hot water heater. Well, as you saw, it stopped making the hot water hot. Now we have replaced the thermostats twice in this unit. We have replaced the heating elements once in this unit. But as Patty kind of with all that knowledge said, it's 20 years old. It's time to get a new hot water unit. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. The first decision that we had to make is what type of hot water heater are we going to replace this with? Ours is a 10 gallon hot water heater that came with the unit, so it was built in 2002. We have decided to go with an RV tankless hot, hot water heater because that's gonna give us a constant flow of water. First thing we have to do to get ready is turn the water off to prep the tank and drain the tank before we remove it. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your LP gas is turned off. Now in our case, we have a 40 gallon LP gas tank in here and the shutoff valve is in this little door right here. We've got the gas off, we've got the water off, we've got the electric to the unit off. What we're gonna do now is drain the pressure relief valve and then down below, we'll take this cap off and make sure that all the water is out of the water tank. Now what we're doing is taking the plug out of the bottom to drain all the water out of the tank. And once you get it, there we go. Now that we've got the pressure relief valve is emptied out, all the water in the tank is emptied out, it's time to disconnect the LP line to the old heater. Now remember, we've already turned the LP gas off. However, there's still a little bit of pressure in the lines usually. So we're gonna do this very slowly and let that pressure just bleed off. This was extremely tight and it took us a few minutes to torque it so we could loosen it up. It's now loosened up, but remember, these have been in here for 10 to 20, in this case, 20 years, this thing's been on there. So it was very, very tight on there. So now I have it off and it is loose and I really don't smell any gas or feel any gas coming out. So we're in a pretty good shape right there. So the next thing is we're gonna go inside and disconnect the water lines. We're inside now at our the back end of our hot water heater. And it's a pretty simple process here. You have the hot water out, the cold water in. This is a bypass valve for our old system. We will not be needing a bypass valve for our new hot water heater. Right over here, we have the 120 volt power in. And right here is a clip for the 12 volt power. We've already got the 120 volt power disconnected. We're gonna disconnect the 12 volt power and then we're gonna disconnect the hot and cold water. Now remember, there's no water in the tank, but there still may be some water in the lines here. So you might wanna have a rag or a towel underneath because that residual water will be coming out. There's several screws around the outside of this housing and then this housing is just gonna pull out. You gotta make sure that you have the right head because it looks like a Phillips head, but it's really not a Phillips head. And that's where this Roby kit that has everything is really well worth the money. All the screws out around the outside. We've taken the putty that they have put inside to seal this baby in. We've taken all that out so it's loose. There was a little bit of extra water. We tilted it and drained that out. Now we're ready to just pull this unit out. One of the things that I saw on somebody else's YouTube channel to make it a lot easier because this could be a little bit heavy and kind of awkward. 
if you have this table right here, as you pull the unit out, you can just set it right down on the table. Now remember, your gas line is still on this side. I have it clear, so it should just push right through as I pull the unit out. Let's see how it goes. And now it should just pull right out of here. Remember, you gotta be very, very conscious of this gas line that's on the side of it. So you wanna be very, very conscious of that as you pull everything out. And there you go. We have the entire unit out. I, uh, I came across a video where the guy asked the question, do I really need to flush my hot water heater? Well, as we pulled this hot water heater out, what's on this table and back down in here, it almost looks like somebody threw up. I got to tell you, this is what was on the bottom of that hot water tank. So the answer to the question, do I really need to flush my hot water system on a regular basis? If you have a tanked hot water heater, the answer to that question is absolutely. Half the job is done. We've got the old unit out. We get everything nice and cleaned up. Now it's time to open up the new unit. Okay, so there she is, the new unit um, with the door on it. Now this is the 15 inch door that's probably not gonna fit in our hole because we have an 18 inch hole. We have ordered the 18 inch door which will be coming in just a few days. Now we have this surprise package on the inside. We're gonna take a look at that real quick. And if I can open it up, Pull it out of here. Look at this. This is a, this is a, hold on one second. This is a thermostat for the inside. Time's up. And you can actually just put everything in there. I just took this door off for right now for easier installation. Ready to go. So we're going to try to lift this PB up and put her in the hole. And you can see it's a lot smaller than what our hole is. As you can see, this unit is much smaller, 15 inches, against the 18 inch hole that we have. Now, we have the mounting kit that is 18 inches that'll fit right around this existing opening coming. However, it's back ordered for about two weeks. So we have to do something because we couldn't live without hot water for two weeks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this unit with six screws around the outside first and then we will fill this in with foam and Gorilla Tape so no varmints or whatever can get in there while we're waiting for the door to come. Well, it's not pretty for right now, but there's a reason for that. So we have the hot water heater in, but remember our hole is bigger and the big door is back ordered for about two weeks. We do have to drive to Jacksonville, so we wanted to seal up that big hole. So what we did so we actually went down to the Ace Hardware and Patty had a great idea to get a pallet. We cut the pallet wood up and we pieced it right into this spot and we are now just about ready to go. Dan and I are in sunny Florida with lots of hot water saying have a great rest of today. And an even better day tomorrow. <laughs>